Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to set up MongoDB Atlas and connect it to your project. Even though I already have an account, I will register again with a different email just to show you every step clearly. So first, I am going to MongoDB Atlas website that is atlas.mongodb.com. Now I am clicking on get started and here you can enter your first name, last name, email and password to create a new account or just sign up with Google. I will click sign up with Google giving access to my MongoDB. After sign up, accept privacy policy, then click on submit. It will take you through a survey, which you can either complete or skip for now. I will skip this for now. Alright. Now we are at the deploy your cluster step. Here we have to choose what kind of cluster we want to use. Basically this means we are setting up the database server where your data will be stored and managed. There are three options here. First is M10. This one cost around $0.08 per hour and it gives you 10 GB storage, 2 GB RAM, 2 V CPUs. Second is Flex. It starts from $0.011 per hour, around $8 per month and it gives 5 GB storage, RAM and CPU are shared. Third is free. This is the one I am going to choose. 512 RAM storage, shared RAM and CPU. It is perfect for learning, testing and small personal project. And yes, it is 100% free forever. So if you are just starting or building your first project, go with this one. Next is the cloud provider section. You can choose where you want your MongoDB database to be hosted. There are three options, AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. I am going with AWS because it is selected by default and it works perfectly fine for most cases. Now let's pick the region. This means physical location of your database server. Since I am in India, I am selecting Mumbai. It is marked as recommended because it is closest to my location which help in fastest connection. You can choose a region closer to you based on where your users are. Under that, you see this optional field for tags. This is mainly for teams or projects with many clusters. So you can skip this part for now. On the right side, under quick setup, automate security setup is already checked. That is good. It will handle some secure setting for you. And preload sample dataset is also checked. I will leave it on for now. This will add some test data to help you practice. Once everything looks good, I am clicking on the green button at the bottom. Create deployment. And now MongoDB Atlas will start setting up the cluster. This pop-up appears. It is asking us to set up the security for our MongoDB cluster. Let me explain this step by step. Step 1. Add a connection IP address. At the top, you can see that MongoDB has automatically added my current IP address here. This allows my computer to connect to database. If you are using another device or sharing this with someone, you can later add more IP addresses from the setting. But for now, this is fine. No need to change anything. Step 2. Create a database user. Now we need to create username and password. This is the login that your code will use to connect to the database. I am entering a simple username here, for example, MFA creatives. Then I am typing a strong password. Make sure to copy and save this password. You will need it very soon when writing the code to connect your app. And one more thing, don't share your ID and password with someone else. After that, I am clicking on the create database user button. Now click on choose a connection method to continue with the setup. Now we are on the second step. Choose a connection method. This screen gives us different ways to connect to our database. The first option is drivers. This is the one we want if we are connecting from code like Node.js, Express or any backend project. So I am going to click on drivers. We will use this to get our MongoDB connection string. Below that there are some tools you can use if you want to manage your database in other ways like compass, cell, mongodb for vs code, atlas sql. These are useful but for this video I am focusing on connecting mongodb to my project using code. In my next video I will cover these options. So let's go ahead and click drivers. After clicking on drivers I choose node.js as the driver. 
and the latest version from the drop down it shows a command to install mongodb in my project but i have already installed mongodb in my project so i don't have to do this if you doesn't install previously just copy this and paste it in your terminal npm install mongodb and hit enter to run the command now we get a connection string this is what we will use in our code to connect to mongodb in the connection string section there is a toggle called show password if i click it it will display my password so i can copy and paste the full string directly but this works only the first time later it will show password so you need to type your password manually now instead of using the toggle i will manually connect the mongodb clicking copy and paste it in my projects.env file now click on done now i will open my project in vs code and i'll paste that connection string to my .env file like this mongo underscore url is equal to paste connection string now i need to replace db password with my actual password for the user mfe creatives now mongodb is ready to connect in my node.js app now i will add the code to connect mongodb in my project using mongos here is the code i am using now i will run the project using npm start if the connection is successful we will see mongodb connected in the terminal open your terminal and first move to the root directory of your project type cd frontend then run npm start if everything set up correctly you will see mongodb connected in your terminal now you can start using mongodb for your project in my next video i will check mongodb using an api testing tool to push and retrieve data that's it we have successfully connected mongodb atlas to our project if this video helped you give a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more coding tutorials